it's going to be a good day when the La Cruze comes out. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be brewing with the mighty Mocha Pot. So I said I was going to brew with as many applications as possible and the Mocha Pot is not one that I brew with on a regular but every now and then I do like to crack this out and we're going to have a little bit of a milky bonus at the end of this. Um, Mocha Pot, if you're into that really rich, concentrated, delicious coffee, more on the espresso style, then the Mocha Pot stove top is probably the one for you. So we're going to get straight into this and we're going to brew. So I'll have a couple of little tips as we go through this to get the best results from the Mocha Pot. Basically all it is, is pot with a chamber on the top and a filter underneath. You get a metal filter inside and you get a chamber which is going to hold your water. First of all what we want to do is we want to fill this up with off the boil water. So don't go in with cold water, go in with just off the boil water. It's going to brew a lot quicker, the extraction is going to be better and you're not going to get any of those bitter tastes that you, that you don't want from your coffee. So fill it up, you want to fill it up just below the valve on the side, get that filled. As always, you're going to need delicious coffee. I'm going to go for El Salvador Boscalia. Go for a bit of a Central American coffee, full of nuts, full of chocolate, plummy tones. Perfect, goes perfect with the mocha pot. Then what we want to do is we want to get our coffee. So what I normally do to make this a little bit easier, tear the scales off and in the little metal filter in the top, you want to pop in the coffee beans into the little metal filter and that should give you an indication of how much coffee you're going to need to grind. This holds 20 grams, this filter, nice and easy and what we're going to do is we're going to grind it fresh as always. I'm going to use the Wilfer because the Wilfer has the mocha setting on there which makes it nice and easy. But for those of you who don't have a, uh, a Wilfer grinder, you want to grind it not as fine as espresso, a couple of clicks back from espresso, but you still want it to be quite fine because you want to get that luxurious, syrupy sort of style of coffee. And we're going to grind away. Right, so we've ground reasonably fine and you want to get that into the filter as quickly as possible. There's no need to tamp this down the pressure from the water will do the work so all you want to do is just get your finger and just flatten that down so it's nice and flat then take a towel because the bottom's going to be pretty warm and then screw your top on a lot of these brewers come in aluminium so you can't use them on a induction hob like I found out the other day so this mocha pot has got induction technology so hopefully we're going to be able to brew on the induction so turn it on turn your temperature up and this should start brewing pretty quickly because we put off the boil water in as you can see it's starting to do it and this is what it wants to look like you want that nice rich syrupy crema coming out of the top of the mocha pot and then let it do its thing and it should be done. Right, once you've brewed all the way, you want to take that off pretty quickly and what you need to do is you're going to want to, want to cool it down as quickly as possible. So you want to run this underneath the tap just to sort of stop the brewing process because what will happen is this will still keep heating up and instead of all the water has disappeared from in this chamber it's now in the coffee lovely extracted tasty coffee and what you'll end up doing is you'll end up over brewing the coffee and then all that does is add a lot of bitterness within the coffee um, so we've brewed our mocha pot we've got ourselves pretty tasty coffee right so that is really simple I mean it's probably taken me about five minutes to knock that up We've got a delicious base for a drink now. So we've got almost an, es it's not an espresso, but it is definitely rich, it's definitely intense. What you can do with this now, you can add more boiling water on top of this to dilute it down to become more of an Americano style drink, or you can add milk and make it into a cappuccino. So that is exactly what we're going to do. Now we're going to make cappuccino. 
but we're going to make it with a cafetiere. So some of you might have seen this method before, but it always gets me a little bit excited. So what you want to do is get some really delicious full fat milk, acorn dairy, as always for Rountain Coffee. Pop your milk into the pan. Get yourself a thermometer because what you don't want to do is you don't want to boil any of this milk. So I'm looking for a temperature of around 60 degrees for this, uh, for this milk. So we're going to take this up to temperature. Induction is amazing because it just everything just happens so quickly on it. So we're nearly there. Bubbles are starting to form. Let's get this poured into our cafetiere. Now, the trick is, pop your, your little filter guard on top. What you're going to want to do is just wiggle that about. And the milk is going to almost double in size and volume. To your jug of choice. Silky smooth milk. It does amaze me every time just how silky smooth the milk you can get. Get all the air bubbles out as much as you can and then there we have it. Cappuccino. Delicious. And that is how to brew the Mighty Mocha Pot. And that is how to make a cappuccino without an expensive coffee machine. But until next time, stay focused.